Hello friends, welcome to Bricks Embedded System Tutorial. I am Rajiv and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create routines or functions for interrupt. Now, whenever we write a code for uh, embedded system, we create, we always create a function called main. Main is the function which will run whenever your microcontroller will start. It doesn't matter what is the condition it will always start with the function main at the same time we can create some other functions also like here i have created a function called sample method so uh, by default this function will never run if we want to run this function we must call this function inside the main function then only this function will get executed otherwise if even if you have created 10 or 20 different functions with different different name it will never run it will run only in case you have called it inside main function similarly we create a function called isr this is actually a interrupt service routine function these functions never need to be called inside main we never call it we never try to execute it manually actually all these functions or Actually, we can create a multiple ISRs in uh, one function, uh, one code. So, all these ISRs will get executed only in case of an interrupt specifically uh, created or specifically assigned for each ISR. So, in, in case th there will be a true condition for that specific type of interrupt, then only that specific interrupt or the ISR will get executed. We never call these ISR inside uh, main function. We just need to enable the situation or condition for these ISRs. And whenever that uh, condition will get uh, true, the ISR will run automatically. Now, in um, tried, uh, your code, you can create uh, as many as ISRs you want. You just need to uh, assign a different vector. This, this text here is called a vector. So you need to assign a different different vector for different different ISR and all these ISRs will run on different different conditions. So in next tutorial we will learn how many types of interrupts are there and how we can create different different ISR for all those different interrupts. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, we will learn more about interrupts in further tutorials. Thank you.